following production is protected under copyright law. Hello and welcome to another production here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The Open Mic Broadcast Network is proud to be the official voice of Waller County Athletics, serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network is a community-based radio station located in Prairie View, Texas. So let us now join today's broadcast. The station design, the station design, with you in mind. With you in mind. the open mic broadcast and mic broadcast and Texas. Perfect, Texas. Has your vehicle been giving you the blues? Contact our good friends at Larry's Automotive at 30540 FM 1488 in the field store area. Now 936 931 5566. Our Family Storage, located at 406 University Drive in Prairie View, Texas. Open Mondays through Saturdays from 9 to 6 p.m. They're closed on Sundays, but you can contact Robert Ellis or Camilla Hernandez at 936-857-9501 for more information. Hempstead Movie Theater, the best-kept secret in Waller County. Located at 740 12th Street in historic downtown Hempstead, Texas. For more information, contact Tina at 936 419 one four seven three. Care with confidence. Always available to serve your health care needs. Ameris 24-Hour Community Hospital. Located at 24429 Tumball Parkway in Tumball, Texas. For more information, contact them at 281-516-0911. With over 20 years of experience as a lawyer, attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. can help you with whatever your need may be. Divorce, car accidents, criminal case, wills, deeds, trust, civil suits, parent and child relationships. Contact Richardson's Law Office located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You can call them at 979-826-8008. Attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. in Hempstead, Texas. Another proud supporter for the Waller Bulldogs is Green Lawn Care Service, providing commercial and residential lawn maintenance for quality, service, and value. Contact Green Lawn Care Service at 979-277-2145. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, call 832-213-8824. Toy Tech Auto Care, located at 19730 FM 2920 in Tumball, Texas. Next door to Dollar General off of Muski Road, Toy Tech offers a variety of services. Preventive maintenance, computerized diagnostics, all the way to clutch repair. Call Toy Tech Auto Care at 281-516-9400. Showing support for Waller County student athletes and helping educate today's children, the Learning Tree Child Care Center. Located at 837 12th Street, Hempstead, Texas, contact the owner, Carla Perry, at 979-826-4703. Johnson Phillips All Faith Chapel presents the 57th Annual Minister's Conference February 3rd and 4th, 2015 on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. The theme will be dynamic and relevant preaching in a contemporary world. Scheduled conference speakers from Atlanta, Georgia, Dr. Teresa L. Fry Brown, Executive Director and Scholarship African American Methodist Episcopal Church. From Gilmer, Texas, Dr. Forrest L. Curry Sr., Moses Chapel, Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. From Houston, Texas, Dr. Marcus D. Cosby, Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. And from Hayward, California, Bishop Jerry W. Macklin, Senior Pastor at Glad Tidings Church of God in Christ, the second assistant presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ from Memphis, Tennessee. For more information, dial 936-261-3590. The 57th Annual Minister's Conference, February 3rd and 4th, 2015. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the official voice of Waller County Athletics, serving the Waller Bulldogs, the Hempstead Bobcats, the Royal Falcons, and the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're moments off from tip-off. The starting lineups for the 9 and 7 Wildcats will be DJ Thomas wearing number 1, Jeff Beckham wearing number 13, Matt Avala wearing number 20, Andrew Willer, from the Wexler, I should say, wearing number 21. And then Mike Cagini. Cagini is wearing number 30. For the Bulldogs will be number two, William Wagner. Number three, 
Corbin Vines, number 22, Charlie Hill, number 32, Eric Wright, and number 33, Sean Robinson. The Bulldogs will be dressed in their all-white uniforms. Going from my left to right, the Tumball Memorial Wildcats in their navy blue with the gray lettering. Tumball Memorial on the front of their jerseys. As we're ready to get this contest on the way, it looks like Charlie Hill and Mr. Andrew Wexler will be doing the tip-off as the last minute's instructions. want to welcome you all to another live broadcast here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network as we get ready to get knee-deep into basketball season. It is the holiday season. Next week, we'll be celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we're ready to get things on the way here. Officials are in position, getting their whistles wrapped around their neck, and we're ready to roll. And the tip-off is on the way, getting in position. Ball is bounced up and finally released, and it is controlled by the Bulldogs. Backcourt, Wagner, and Charlie Hill. Hill brings it across the timeline as we get ready to go through. And that ball is bounced off the defender. And Corbin Vines, I apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. Someone just walked up to him and started trying to have a conversation. Ball is inbound out on the top to Charlie Hill. Hill calls the play, looking, getting in position. Wagner breaks loose on the right elbow. He swings it over. Back into the hands of Hill. Hill on the left wing now. Swings it. Oh, that ball is intercepted, turned over. And going on a fast break is D.J. Thomas, and he gets the basket. First turnover tonight for the Bulldogs as he gets the basket in. The ball is inbound, and now Robinson takes it, swings it over to Wagner, who breaks the press off the shot, and Wagner gets his first field goal. And we're all tied at 2, 7.15 of the first period. Bulldogs and the Wildcats getting on the way. That ball going back across the long three-pointer shot is missed by Wexler, the rebound by the Wildcats. They get back in position and get ready to continue on. D.J. Thomas now dribbling to the right side as the Wildcats set their play up. Swing it over into the corner. Now looking, kicking it out was Cugini. Back at the hands of Avela. Avela swings it back over to Wexler. Wexler on the left wing. He kicks it over to D.J. Smith, who sits on the right wing. As they're working the ball, taking their time, being very methodical, or the Wildcats. Pulling back. Now taking their time, 6.25 on the clock. Thumbball Memorial not in a really big hurry to move the ball around. Under first-year head coach John Shepard, Wildcats come in with an overall record of 9-7. and seven. Still working and very patient on the Wildcats right now as Wetzel swings it over to the right wing. Now it's back all the way over, working down low, and the shot is missed. but got the own rebound, missed again by D.J. Thomas, and Bulldogs finally coming up. Sean Robinson pushes it across, and the teardrop shot falls through for his first field goal of the night, and the Bulldogs have a 4-2 to two lead. Five minutes and 43 seconds here in the opening period of play. D.J. Thomas now bringing it across the timeline. He's being met by William Wagner, swinging it through, and the baseline pass is no good intended for Matt Avala, and they're going to say that it was out of bounds. Avala said it may have been kicked out of bounds by one of the Bulldogs, but nonetheless they're going to say it's in possession for the Bulldogs. So now there's a bit of confusion, and they're going to say it was kicked out of bounds. So Tom Bob Memorial does inbound it. So they finally get it in, trying to make things work is Kajini. Kajini kicks it back out to now Jeff Beckham. Jeff now has it, swings it over in the left wing, back and forth. Very patient or the Wildcats. Five minutes and ten seconds now here in this opening period. Bulldogs on top, four to two. Just getting on the way. Not a lot of action thus far. Ball movement by the Wildcats going back and forth. D.J. Thomas finally kicks it over, and the shot is good by Kujini. And we're all tied at four. Four four with 4.53 now in the first period of play. Charlie Hill is going to be fouled. And that foul looks like it was on number 20, Matt Avala. Avala, I'm sorry. 
It looks like Avala, but it's pronounced Avala. His first foul, first team foul of the night. Robertson gets it across the timeline off the inbound pass to Corbin Vines, who's now in. He bounced it over to Eric Wright, who's in. And right shot gets in, finds a little shooter's touch, and the Bulldogs are up 6-4. to four. Working back and forth now. Tom Ball Memorial gets it across. DJ, oh, nice pass, and couldn't handle it was Kajini. He bounced off his hands, but saved by Wexler. Getting it down inside and trying to get some things going. As Avala, he kicks it back out to Wexler. Wexler shoots the jump off the left elbow, and it's good. I'm sorry, that was Beckham. Forgive me. That was Beckham with the shot. 6-6 six, six is the score. Bounce pass to William Wagner, and that ball was blocked. Great defensive play by Jeff Beckham, and the Wildcats coming back on the defense. A great athletic move by Beckham, and the shot is no good by Wexler. Rebound by William Wagner, and here come the Bulldogs. Sean Robinson with the shot off the glass. No good. Eric Wright goes up with the rebound. Strong, and the shot is no good off the head of Vines, and here come the Wildcats. Pushing it now will be Wexler. Wexler kicks it back out. Over to Beckham over in the corner, and there's going to be a travel called against D.J. Thomas, and that will be the first turnover of the night for the Wildcats. We're all tied at 6, 331 remaining in the first period of play. My friends here with you. We are live from Waller Bulldog Gymnasium. They like to call it the Dog Pound. They now get things set and ready to go. He- heels fast is deflected. But say by Wright. Wright swings it over to Sean Robinson, who shoots for three. It's no good. And the rebound is picked up by the Wildcats. Pushing it down the floor now with the Wildcats. D.J. Thomas led all along, and he gets the basket. Time out on the floor, eight to six in favor of the Wildcats. There's time out on the floor. We're going to take us a quick timeout. If you're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, and we're going to take us a quick break, and we'll be right back. Tonight's broadcast is being made possible through audio now. You can call or listen to our Listen Live line at 213-401-0037. And welcome back here to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Do want to remind you that we have a new look set up for the 2015 campaign. We have a new sports website which will be obnradio.com. That's obnradio.com. You go ahead and check it out, and you'll be able to catch up with all the latest and the greatest of the world of sports. And we still have the original ktorradio.com that is now dedicated to full gospel program. And we're back to play now to inbound to Wagner from Hill. Wagner goes off the glass and gets the shot. Gets filed in the process. Basket does count, and it looks like they're going to charge that foul against Amir Hyder. Wagner will come in and shoot his first free throw of the night, and it is no good. The rebound is in now to Hayden Stephens. Stevens, I should say, he gets it over to D.J. Thomas, and Thomas accelerates toward the line. He's fouled by Sean Robertson. Robertson picks up his first foul of the night. So D.J. Thomas will now go to the line to shoot two. Two minutes and 59 seconds here in the first period of play. Shot is good. Nine to eight is the score now in favor of the Wildcats. Second shot on the way from DJ Thomas. And it is good. He gets to shoot his touch, and he's two for two from the line. Ten to eight is the score, two minutes and 55 seconds coming up now. Getting the pass across to Wagner. Wagner saves it from being a turnover, and he turns it over. And it's going to be a quick. Foul called against Corbin Vine. And Vine will be assessed with his first foul. That's the second team foul. Both teams in the second team foul is now getting set to go will be Zach Kelsey. 
And the next stop is a play. Two minutes and 35 seconds in the first period of play. Bulldogs and the Wildcats in district competition. Wildcats on top 10 to 8 right now. That's a good pass. Not able to handle it. It should be a travel, and they do call it a pass to uh, uh, Amir Hyder, and he couldn't handle it. That's going to be a turnover. And now Robertson goes out. Kelsey comes in. Malik Banks comes in as Eric Wright goes out. So on the floor be Malik Banks. He's playing the point guard. Charlie Hill at the shooting guard. You have it's a sighting of Ray Simon now in on the floor. And Kelsey, Corbin Vine takes it, gives it to Malik Banks on the right elbow. The bounce pass is another turnover. He split right in between Simon and Hill. One went one way and the other with the other, and the ball went right in between them. Fourth, third turnover thus far for the Bulldogs, two for Tumball Memorial. Coming up on two minutes here in the first period of play. Coming, working, getting things, ball movement down on the paint, kicking it back out, and D.J. Thomas takes it at the left wing. Swinging it back down, working it down low. The bounce pass was no good. It's going to be a turnover, turnover number three. Hyder tried to get a bounce pass in, but he put a little too much on it, and it got down, and that's going to be Bulldogs possession. So there's some, another changing of personnel. Derrod Smith and Mr. Tyron Taylor comes in for Bulldogs. One minute and 42 seconds remaining. In this first period of play, 8-10 to 10 is our score. Banks looking, gets the ball over to Simon. Simon looking, works it back to Tyron Taylor at the top of the key. Swings it over to Banks on the right wing, back to Taylor. Taylor looking at the top of the key, bouncing, penetrating, going through the glass off no good. Elsa misses with the rebound, and coming back is Tyron Taylor. Taylor takes it, pulls it back out. One minute and 14 seconds remaining now in the first period of play. Working it. Oh, there's a turnover. That ball got away. And here comes Wexler. Wexler gets that ball over and could not handle the pass. Tried a nice pass by Wexler, but Perkins couldn't handle it. There's another turnover. Then that shot is no good by Smith. Kelsey with the rebound. Kicks it back out to Smith. And now the Bulldogs taking their time. Taylor pulls it back out to Banks. 44 seconds on the clock. Banks over to Smith. Smith bounces to Taylor in the far right corner. And Simon now has it at the top of the key, pulling it back out, 33 seconds remaining. Bulldogs look like they might try to set up for one shot. It's a lot of time. Taylor picks it over to Simon. Simon kicks it back out to the top. It's in the hands of Banks. 20 seconds now down to 15 seconds, and the Bulldogs are going to set up for this final shot. As they come and set things up, and they swing it over. Smith drives, dribbles, bounces back to Simon. Simon got it. So 27 seconds, and it is no good. The Bulldogs not able to penetrate. So we get the end of one period of play, and the Bulldogs are trailing the Wildcats by the score of 10 to 8. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with the second period of play. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network and Walla Bulldog Basketball. With over 20 years of experience as a lawyer, attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. can help you with whatever your need may be. Divorce, car accidents, criminal case, wills, deeds, trust, civil suits, parent and child relationships. Contact Richardson's Law Office located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You can call them at 979-826-8008. Attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. in Hempstead, Texas. And welcome back to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We are live here in Waller, Texas. The Bulldogs and the Wildcats getting started off in district play. These teams will get quite familiar. The Bulldogs will play the Wildcats later on down in Tumball, and we plan to be there to give you that coverage as well. As they're getting ready to start this second period of playoff, the Bulldogs trailing by two. The Wildcats will be inbound and dressed in their navy blues with the gray lettering and numbering on their jerseys. They're going from my right to left. 
Ball is inbounded now to D.J. Thomas. He has four points. Kicks it over to Wexler. Wexler now to Kajini. Kajini gets it back over to Wexler, and they're doing a little keep away again. Good ball movement down inside, and that was Ortega, and I may have said that was Ortega before I said Perkins, but that was Ortega who couldn't handle that pass before. It's looking like a three from a little far. Ball was knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs. And is inbounded by the Wildcats. For some reason, I want to call them a Mustang. That was a long shot. Three-pointer, no good by Ortega. Rebounded by the Bulldogs. Vine gets it across the floor. Charlie Hill gets on the left wing. Goes the baseline. No good. Wright goes up to try to save it. And that ball is knocked out of bounds by Tumball Memorial. Good turnout here tonight. Teams travel. Vines get ready to inbound it. One thing about it with the realignment, schools are a lot closer now, so it should be good turnouts in just about all the sporting affairs. Wagner on the right wing. He swings it over. The starting lineup back out for the Bulldogs. Vine take it. Again, guarded by D.J. Smith. Gets it over to Sean Robinson. Robinson dribbles between his legs. Bounce to the right. Right goes baseline, and he is going to be fouled. I want to call that one against Mr. Mike Cugini. Cugini picks up his first foul. Going to shoot two will be Eric Wright. This will be Eric Wright's first attempt at the line tonight. The first one is no good. 7.05 remaining. Substitution coming in now as Tyler Moore will come in to give a breather to D.J. Thomas. Right, we're getting ready to shoot his second shot. Bulldogs trailing 10 to 8. Second shot on the way, and it's good. Down the bottom of the net. So, right is one for two from the line. Bulldogs trailing by one, 10 to 9. Getting it across the timeline now, do the Wildcats. Handling the ball will be Jeff Beckham. Beckham dribbling, penetrating through. Nice pass, dished it off. And that should have been a walk, but it was not called. A shot no good. Rebounded by Wright. He kicks it out to Vines. Vines comes across the timeline. Looking. Pulls it back. Kicks it over now to Robinson. Robinson over to Charlie Hill on the left wing. Hill is being guarded now by Ortega. Ortega cannot keep up with Hill. Hill shoots the glass shot. And they're going to call the charge against Charlie Hill. Down posted low was Mike Cugini. And Hill will be charged with his first foul of the night. And that will be a turnover for the Bulldogs. That's turnover number five compared to four for the Wildcats. 6.25 now, still 10-9. to nine. Tumball Memorial on top. Getting the ball across the timeline. Working baseline now. Get it to Cugini. Cugini over to the lone three-point attempt by Beckham. No good. Rebound by the Bulldogs. Here comes Vine. That ball is knocked out of the air by Ortega. Ortega gets the ball over and a slam by Wexler. You hear Tumball Memorial going crazy. 12 to 9 is the score. And Bynes will go to shoot two. That foul will be assessed against Tyler Moore. Well, one thing about it, as I mentioned earlier, these teams are much closer. The intense rivalry, these schools go back way, way back. A lot of camaraderie between Tumball ISD and Waller ISD, so these games will be heated as the first free throw is good by Corbin Vines. 10-12 now. Bulldogs trailing by two. Got to make sure they get the free throws in. Second shot. It's good. Corbin Vines, two for two for the line. Bulldogs back down by one, 12-11. Wagner now leading the charge, playing the one guard. Gets the ball over, and the shot is no good by Beckham. And it's knocked out of bounds. It's going to be in possession for the Bulldogs. Mike Clinch here with you. We are live from Walla ISD Gymnasium. Long pass to Wagner going baseline. That ball is altered, and he's fouled. He's going to shoot two. 
And there's going to be a foul choice against Wexler, his first foul. So Wagner will go to shoot two. Bill Wagner has a total of four points thus far. 529 remaining in his first shot is good. Boy, you can hear and feel the intensity coming between these two as Eric Wright goes out. Now coming in is Colton Dover, number 50, and DJ Thomas will come in and give a rest to Andrew Wexler. Second shot on the way from Wagner. Takes his time, bounces, rolls off the fingertip, and he gets the free to shoot a stretch. And it is a one-point lead now for the Bulldogs on top 13 to 12. Working it now, 520 before the half. Bulldogs working down low in the defensive position. Working it. Now the student section getting involved. There's a long three-pointer, and it is good from Ortega from downtown. 15-13. Wildcats with a two-point lead. Bulldogs coming back across. They're going from my left to right, dressed in their all-white uniform. There's a foul called against the Bulldogs. It is going to go against Culver, Colton Dover. Another substitution now coming in has number three, Brooks Perkins, does come in right now. So Perkins is on the floor along with Jeff Beckham, D.J. Thomas, who now has the ball. Edgar Ortega, and number 15, Mr. Tyler Moore. Four minutes and 44 seconds, 15 to 13. Now is the score. Tumball Memorial on top. Ball down low, but not handle the pass. And it's going to be a foul. A call against the Bulldogs. Couldn't quite get who that foul was on. Forgive us with our positioning on the floor. The inbound pass is to Smith. There's a long three-pointer, and it is good for downtown from Jeff Beckham. He shot that ball at least five feet behind the three-point line, and it was nothing but bottom of the net. 18 to 13 now is the score. 420 now in the first period, the first half of play. Bulldogs trailing by five. Trying to work it now. Lines bounce pass to Sean Robinson. Robinson shoots from the right elbow. It's no good. The rebound is picked up and headed by Jeff Beckham. Beckham tanks, goes into the paint from the left elbow. It's no good, but it's fouled. It's going to shoot two. That foul was going to be assessed to Corbin Vine. Vine charged with his second foul. Going to shoot two will be Jeff Beckham. First shot from Beckham is good. So far, the Wildcats have been perfect from the line. They're three for three for the line, pending this shot. Second shot on the way from Beckham. It's no good. The rebound is going to be over the back foul called against the Mustangs. I'm sorry, the Wildcats, Tyler Moore. Moore picks up his second foul, and it is four minutes and three seconds left. As now entering is Allen Roberts for the Bulldogs. He'll get it across the timeline, being guarded by Ortega. He'll go to his left. Pass. That ball is intercepted. It's a good pass, but intercepted. And there's another turnover by the Bulldogs, and they turn it right back over. Charlie Hill gets it. That ball making up for his Eel advised pass. Coming now, gets it, swings it over to Allen. Allen looking, swings it over into the corner, going baseline, pulling the back of Sean Roberts, back up top to Charlie Hill. Timeout is taken on the floor by Coach Claiborne, and we're going to take us a quick timeout, depending on how much they're giving us 30 seconds here for the timeout. We're going to take us a quick time out, and we'll be right back. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of Waller County Athletics. Jim said movie today, the best-kept secret in Waller County, located at 740 12th Street in historic downtown Hempstead, Texas. 
For more information, contact Tina at 936-419-1473. All right, welcome back here. It is 19-13. to 13. The Bulldogs are trailing the Wildcats. First game of district play, Bulldogs come in with a 4-7 and seven overall record. They're led by fifth-year coach here, Earl Claiborne. Meanwhile, the Mustangs, I keep saying Mustangs, forgive me, but the Wildcats are 9-7 and seven with an overall record. And the first-year coach, John Shepard. Ball is being inbound by the Bulldogs with 329 remaining before the first half. They're pressing now or the Wildcats, and they finally gets it over to Sean Roberts. Roberts gets it, gets it across to Wagner. Wagner is going to be everything but Rob, and they're going to say it was a turnover against the Bulldogs. He was looking for the foul, and they said no deal. Quickly get it across the timeline. It's B.J. Thomas. The high pass, could not handle it, was Tyler Moore. That's turnover number six now for the Wildcats. Bulldogs working across. Charlie Hill shoots from the left elbow. It's no good. The rebound is picked up by the Mustangs. And there's a steal by Vines. Vines off the glass and no good. He's fouled. But Vines got the steal being alert. And foul was going against 13, Jeff Beckham. That's his first foul. And Corbin will go to shoot two. He's already two for two from the line. Has two points on the night. Shot is good. 19 to 14, that was the score. Going off will be Beckham. Coming in will be Wexler. And Roberts goes out, and Rod Smith comes in for the Bulldogs. Second shot on the way by Vine. Southmore sensation. Second shot is good. 19 to 15. Corbin Vine's four points, all four from the charity strike. Bulldogs now trying to amp it up. The home crowd. There's a long pass. That ball was... Shot out like a cannon by Tyler Moore over the head of the intended teammate. And it will be a turnover. As now there seems to be a bit of confusion as Coach Claiborne gets things ironed out. Sean Roberts, Robertson, I should say, gets the ball, bringing it across the timeline. Dribbling to his left. And he's going to be fouled. And... They should be in the bonus now. It's one and one. That foul was charged against number three, Mr. Brooks Perkins. Don Roberts will go to shoot the bonus shot. He's in the single bonus right now. If he can hit this, he gets a chance to get another one. First shot is good. Good shot. By Robertson, 19 to 16 now. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this first half of play. Second shot now on the way from Robertson. He takes his time off the fingertips and then the bottom of the net. 19-17 now. Bulldogs trailing by two with two minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Tom Ball Memorial gets it across the timeline, working on the left wing and back to the top now to D.J. Thomas, who will slow it down. Very low scoring first half. That ball, oh, back door. I almost tried to do something special. It was perfect. Get to the D.J. Thomas off the glass. It's no good. The rebound by Gerard Smith, and he lost the handle. Turned over by the Bulldogs. They were just in the middle of transitional play. Good to see out today is Cecil Dorsett. He has a pool going, but he's leading the student section with cheering section. And it looks like the, some of the old football players are coming to rally it up. 
Gerard Smith was fouled instead of the turnover, so forgive me on that one. He will go to shoot the bonus shot. His first shot is up, and it's good. One-point deficit now for the Bulldogs. 19 to 18 is the score. Second shot on the way, and it's no good. The rebound is by 34, Malik Horn, as he gets it to DJ, I'm sorry, DJ, DJ Thomas. Thomas now back. Long pass back across over to Wetzler. Wetzler back across. is keeping the ball away of what the Mustangs, the Wildcats are doing. Let's have Magnolia West on the mind tonight. One minute and 38 seconds now remaining. Going baseline. Oh, there's a steal by Wagner. Wagner tried to get it and hit it off of Wexler. Wexler takes it and shoots the short jumper for good. 21-18 now. Robinson gets the ball across the timeline. Gerard Schmidt now on the right wing. Lost the handle, but he kicked it over to Robinson. One minute and ten seconds remaining. Robinson spun man. His man slipped. And the glass off the glass by Charlie Hill. Charlie gets his first field goal, makes it 21 to 20. DJ Thomas slipped and fell, and the Waller fans are letting them have it. 21 to 20 is the score. 46 seconds remaining before half. Bulldogs working on baseline. Horn lost the ball. Malik Horn lost the ball. And with 41.96 seconds, the Bulldogs are trying to get in and take the lead. So substitutions now coming in. Hayden Stevens comes in. Brooks Perkins now on the floor, along with Matt Avala. And it looks like that is Amir Hyder. And the number 21, Andrew Wexler. Bulldogs get it across the line here. They might work for this final shot of the half. See how Claiborne wants to do it. Neil kicks it over to Robertson. Robertson being hand-checked by Hayden Stevens. Robertson dribbles to the left, and he's going to be called for the push. Oh, they're going to call a foul on 10. Wow, they call that foul. On Hayden Stevens, they have changed the rules so significantly right now. So this is the double bonus right now, and the referee is explaining to them. They got it now where they don't want any hand checking. It's very minimal hand checking that they're allowing this year. So it should be two now shot by Sean Robinson that could possibly give the Bulldogs the lead here with 15 seconds remaining before the half. First shot on the way from Robinson is good. Substitution now coming in as a mass of ball players coming in. It looks like Kelsey, Simon, Taylor, and Banks coming in, giving the starters a breather. Don't want to get a cheap foul. So it's all tied at 21. Second shot on the way now by Robinson. Taking his time, bending his knees, spins the ball, rolls it off. It's no good. The rebound is by the Mustang. I'm sorry, the Wildcat. <laughs> Eight seconds, we're all tied at 21. Working it out now, the long shot, two seconds remaining. I don't think they're going to get it off, and they do not. Great defense by the Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs come back to tie this contest up at 21. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more of our halftime report. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of Walla County Athletics. The station design, the station design, with you in mind. Mind. With you in the open mic broadcast net, my broadcast net, my view, Texas. Has your vehicle been giving you the blues? Contact our good friends at Larry's Automotive at 30540 FM 1488 in the field store area. Now 936 931 5566. Our Family Storage, located at 406 University Drive in Prairie View, Texas. Open Mondays through Saturdays from 9 to 6 p.m. They're closed on Sundays, but you can contact Robert Ellis or Camilla Hernandez at 936-857-9501 for more information. 
Hempstead Movie Theater, the best kept secret in Waller County. Located at 740 12th Street in historic downtown Hempstead, Texas. For more information, contact Tina at 936-419-1473. Care with confidence. Always available to serve your health care needs. Ameris 24-Hour Community Hospital. Located at 24429 Tumball Parkway in Tumball, Texas. For more information, contact them at 281-516-0911. With over 20 years of experience as a lawyer, attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. can help you with whatever your need may be. Divorce, car accidents, criminal case, wills, deeds, trust, civil suits, parent and child relationships. Contact Richardson's Law Office located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You can call them at 979-826-8008. Attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. in Hempstead, Texas. Another proud supporter for the Waller Bulldogs is Green Lawn Care Service, providing commercial and residential lawn maintenance for quality, service, and value. Contact Green Lawn Care Service at 979-277-2145. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, call 832-213-8824. Toy Tech Auto Care, located at 19730 FM 2920 in Tumball, Texas. Next door to Dollar General off of Muski Road, Toy Tech offers a variety of services. Preventive maintenance, computerized diagnostics, all the way to clutch repair. Call Toy Tech Auto Care at 281-516-9400. Showing support for Walla County student athletes and helping educate today's children, the Learning Tree Child Care Center. Located at 837 12th Street, Hempstead, Texas, contact the owner, Carla Perry, at 979-826-4703. Johnson Phillips All Faith Chapel presents the 57th Annual Minister's Conference February 3rd and 4th, 2015 on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. The theme will be dynamic and relevant preaching in a contemporary world. Scheduled conference speakers from Atlanta, Georgia, Dr. Teresa L. Fry Brown, Executive Director and Scholarship African American Methodist Episcopal Church. From Gilmer, Texas, Dr. Forrest L. Curry Sr., Moses Chapel, Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. From Houston, Texas, Dr. Marcus D. Cosby, Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. And from Hayward, California, Bishop Jerry W. Macklin, Senior Pastor at Glad Tidings Church of God in Christ, the second assistant presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ from Memphis, Tennessee. For more information, dial 936-261-3590. The 57th Annual Minister's Conference, February 3rd and 4th, 2015. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the official voice of Waller County Athletics, serving the Waller Bulldogs, the Hempstead Bobcats, the Royal Falcons, and the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're at halftime right now. The Mustangs, I keep saying the Mustangs, I'll get it right sooner or later. The Wildcats of Tumball Memorial and the Bulldogs all tied at 21 as we give you the first half scoring. P.J. Thomas has a total of five points. Edgar Ortia has three points, six points by Jeff Beckham, four points by Andrew Wexler, and two points by Mike, Mike Cugini. Cugini has one foul, just as Amir Hyder has one. Everyone else I'll call off has one foul. Andrew Wexler, Mr. Matt Avala, you have Jeff Beckham, Hayden Stevens, Brooks Perkins, and D.J. Thomas. All of them have one foul each, two fouls by Tyler Moore. And for the Bulldogs' leading score right now is William Wagner. He has a total of six points, no fouls. Corbin Vines has four points, all four from the free throw line. He does have two fouls, one point for Derod, Steven, Derod Smith, two points for Charlie Hill. Charlie Hill has one foul, three points for Eric Wright. He has two fouls. And we have five points for Sean Robinson. He has no fouls. And we have Colton Dover has a total of two fouls. So it looks like things are set and ready to go as the Bulldogs and the 
Wildcats are all tied at 21 apiece here. I want to remind you that you are listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the official voice of Waller County Athletics. We're going to take us another break, and we'll be right back with more of the second half right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of Waller County Athletics. The station design, 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 the has your vehicle been giving you the blues? Contact our good friends at Larry's Automotive at 30540-FM1488 in the Field Store area. Now 936-931-5566. Our Family Storage, located at 406 University Drive in Prairie View, Texas, open Mondays through Saturdays from 9 to 6 p.m. They're closed on Sundays, but you can contact Robert Ellis or Camilla Hernandez at 936-857-9501 for more information. Hempstead Movie Theater, the best kept secret in Waller County. Located at 740 12th Street in historic downtown Hempstead, Texas. For more information, contact Tina at 936-419-1473. Care with confidence. Always available to serve your health care needs. Ameris 24-Hour Community Hospital. Located at 24429 Tomball Parkway in Tomball, Texas. For more information, contact them at 281-516-0911. With over 20 years of experience as a lawyer, attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. can help you with whatever your need may be. Divorce, car accidents, criminal case, wills, deeds, trust, civil suits, parent and child relationships. Contact Richardson's Law Office located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You can call them at 979-826-8008. Attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. in Hempstead, Texas. Another proud supporter for the Waller Bulldogs is Green Lawn Care Service, providing commercial and residential lawn maintenance for quality, service, and value. Contact Green Lawn Care Service at 979-277-2145. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, call 832-213-8824. Toy Tech Auto Care, located at 19730 FM 2920 in Tumball, Texas. Next door to Dollar General off of Muski Road, Toy Tech offers a variety of services. Preventive maintenance, computerized diagnostics, all the way to clutch repair. Call Toy Tech Auto Care at 281-516-9400. Showing support for Waller County student athletes and helping educate today's children, the Learning Tree Child Care Center. Located at 837 12th Street, Hempstead, Texas, contact the owner, Carla Perry, at 979-826-4703. Johnson Phillips All Faith Chapel presents the 57th Annual Minister's Conference, February 3rd and 4th, 2015, on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. The theme will be dynamic and relevant preaching in a contemporary world. Scheduled conference speakers from Atlanta, Georgia, Dr. Teresa L. Fry Brown, Executive Director and Scholarship African American Methodist Episcopal Church. From Gilmore, Texas, Dr. Forrest L. Curry Sr., Moses Chapel, Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. From Houston, Texas, Dr. Marcus D. Cosby, Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. And from Haywood, California, Bishop Jerry W. Macklin, Senior Pastor at Glad Tidings Church of God in Christ, the Second Assistant and presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ from Memphis, Tennessee. For more information, dial 936-261-3590. The 57th Annual Minister's Conference, February 3rd and 4th, 2015. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the official voice of Waller County Athletics, serving the Waller Bulldogs, the Hempstead Bobcats, the Royal Falcons, and the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. And welcome back. We're getting ready to start this second half off. We're all tied at 21. Mike Prince here with you from the dog pound here on the campus of Prairie View. A, I'm, I'm Prairie View. On the campus of Waller, man, it is all over the place. It looks like the Bulldogs will be inbounding as they get ready for their starting officials or starting lineup, the official starting lineup. 
Corbin Vine ready to inbound. He gets it in to Charlie Hill, and we're ready to get this second half on the way. All tied at 21. Bulldogs now going from my right to left, dressed in their all white. Working over in the corner is Vines. He pulls it back across, baseline down the right, working in the paint. That shot is no good and is rebounded, swung out by Kujini. Bringing it up to Smith. Smith over to the left wing, back up top to Beckham. Beckham swings it all the way across to Wexler. Wexler's shot is no good. The rebound, fighting for it, coming up with it is Eric Wright. And they're going to call jump ball in possession. Now it's pointing in favor of the Wildcats, and it will remain Tom Ball's ball, Tom Ball Memorial's ball. 7:23 here in this third period, second half officially on the way. Wildcats getting the ball, slowing it down now is DJ Thomas. He swings it over to Wexler. Back up top, and they're slowing it down yet again with seven minutes now. Still tied at 21 to buy it pass down and low, going up and getting the and one. An acrobatic shot by Matt Avala. Avala. It will be shooting one shot. This is the first sighting of Avala in the this game, his shot is up, and it is no good. The rebound by Vine. Bounce pass out. As now Hill gets it across the timeline. Looking, gets over to Vines, runs over in the corner. He checks, looks, bounces back out to Wagner at the top of the key. Wagner goes to the right side. His shot is no good. He gets the rebound, fighting for it, hopping up, and he's going to get it. It's going to say it was out of bounds by Tomball Memorial. They had it out of bounds. They got to give you the first half turnovers. It was nine for Waller at the first half and eight for the Wildcats during the first half. That makes it nine apiece. That shot is going to be... Charge. Oh, the good. It looked like would have been a nice shot by Robinson. And he's charged with his first foul of the night. Turnover by the Bulldogs. And there's another turnover by the Wildcats. So a little sloppy play here to start this second half off. As the Bulldogs get the ball inbound. Hines. Robertson and Heal in the backcourt. Robertson gets it across the timeline, swings it over to Heal. Heal takes it, and Heal's going to be fouled. Hand check foul. They're going to call that against Avala. Avala picks up his third foul. Wagner will inbound. The Bulldogs are trailing 23-21, 6-0-7 remaining. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. Turn over on the inbound. And it's going to be the Wildcats getting the ball in possession of D.J. Thomas. Now working. Getting the ball over. Almost another turnover. A good pass. Oh, that should have been a travel. That should have been. They finally called it. That was a turnover. Looked like it was going to try to do another spectacular dunk was Wexler, but he kind of did the Texas two-step on that one. 23-21, Tumball Memorial on top. Getting it across the timeline is Charlie Hill. This is the first district play of the year. Eric Wright is going up. He's fouled. That's going to be against Tumball Memorial. Looks like number five, Edgar Ortega. That's his first foul of the night. So Wright will go to shoot two. First shot on the way is good. Bulldogs have done quite well from the line on tonight. Wagner is two of three. 
Vines is 4-4. Four, four. Rod Schmidt, one of two. And Eric Wright is two of, actually, three of four. It's those two, and it is all tied again at 23. Wildcats working the ball now, trying to set up for the perfect shot. Bulldogs in their zone look. Getting it across, and the plan a little aggressive. There's going to be a travel call against Edgar Ortega, and that's another turnover. That's the fourth turnover in this second half for Tumball Memorial. 23-23 is our score. Five minutes and ten seconds now remaining in the third period of play. Bulldogs bring it across the timeline. Wagner on the left wing swings it back over to Robinson. Robinson back to heel. Heel looking, looking for the open shot, being bought it. He falls down, and Wagner saves the turnover, kicks it over to Vines. Vines takes it from the right wing. No good. The rebound it is by DJ Thomas. Thomas running down the floor, crossing back over, being guarded by Wagner. Wagner plays some good defense on him, slows down his dribble, and swings it back over and trying to get it. That's going to be another travel call against Beckham. And that's five quick turnovers here in the second half against Tumball Memorial. Timeout taken on the floor. Coach John Shepard is trying to regain composure over the situation. And with that being said, they're going to take, it looks like, a 30-second timeout. With that being said, We'll take us a quick time out here from the good people at Larry's Automotive. Has your vehicle been giving you the blues? Contact our good friends at Larry's Automotive at 30540 FM 1488 in the Field Store area. Now 936-931-5566. All right, welcome back. We're all tied 23 apiece here at Walla High School. Happy holidays to you from wherever you may be listening. Remember, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, we have us a new website, obnradio.com. We still have ktorradio.com, but it has been dedicated to all gospel programming. We do have Listen Live lines. For example, if you want to listen live, you might not be in the midst of Internet access. Just simply dial 213-401-0037, and you can listen to this game live. Getting back in, pressure by... Tumball Memorial gets it over to Sean Robinson, gets it to Hill's three-pointer. It's no good, and the rebound is grabbed by Cugini. Cugini gets it out to the left wing and off the glass. No good by Vex, Vexler. They're going up for the rebound, and finally coming out with this William Wagner. One-on-one. Wagner is going to be fouled. He's going to be fouled. It's going to be fouled by Jeff Beckham. Beckham picks up his second foul. And Wagner will go to shoot two. All tied at 23 apiece, 412 remaining in the third period. This has definitely been a low scoring contest. Bulldogs coming in four and seven overall. But more importantly, this is district play. That ball rolls in and out. It rattled in and shook right back out. So Wagner will try to make amends, at least be one for two with this session at the line. Second shot is good. And it is a one-point lead for the Bulldogs, 24 to 23. It brings it across the timeline, swinging it over, looking, trying to get this set. That ball is turned over still. Here comes Wagner. Wagner going for the layup, reverse, and it's good. 26-23, the Bulldogs on top. Got that one off another turnover, and the Bulldogs have a three-point lead. Setting it up now. Some ball Memorial taking the time. There's a turnover still. Oh, looks like Eric Wright got the rip, and there's another stoppage of play. The ball was knocked out of bounds. It's going to be possession for the Bulldogs. So Charlie Hill will inbound it to Corbin Vine. Corbin Vine, William Wagner, Eric Wright, and Sean Robinson on the floor for the Bulldogs. Swinging it over in the corner to Robinson. Robinson takes it. The long pass saved by Vines. Vines' ball was just taken right from him by Beckham. And here comes Beckham off the glass. 
and good, a foul by Wagner, and an athletic move by Jeff Beckham. Got the steal and had the athleticism to hang around and get the end one. And tied his game up with one free throw. Shot on the way, and it rolls out. And there's Hill with the rebound. Some ball Memorial now trying to apply a little pressure. That ball almost turned over. They call a jump ball. They call travel. He called jump ball first, and he switches over to travel. And that'll be a turnover against the Bulldogs. Vines got tangled up with one of the Tumball Memorial players. And at first he indicated jump ball, then he changed it to travel. So it's a one-point lead for the Bulldogs, 26-25, three minutes and ten seconds remaining in the first, well, the third period of play here of the second half. First district game of these two. Five A opponents compete against each other. Bulldogs now in a 2-1-2 zone look. As Tumball Memorial is slowing it down, working it now on the right wing and getting it back into the hands of Ortega. Ortega over to Wexler. Wexler back to Ortega, swings it over, working down low, and going to be a blocking foul called against the Bulldogs as they're trying to get the indication. 32, it says. That's going to be against Eric Wright. Wright gets his third foul and at the line, getting the first of two for the Mustangs with Mr. Tyler Moore. Second shot on the way. All tied at 26, and it is good. Tyler Moore has given the Mustangs, I keep saying it again, has given the Wildcats a one-point lead, 27 to 26. Wagner on the left wing, gets it over to Charlie Hill. Wagner makes the save. The jumper is no good. Rebound by Tom Ball Memorial. Going back and forth with Wexler. Wexler kicks it back over into the corner now to Beckham. Beckham back to the top. To Ortega. That was a long three. That one was no good. Shot by Beckham. Wagner comes. Goes toward the middle of the paint. And no foul call. They're going to say the ball was knocked out of bounds by Beckham. Beckham got some hops. No doubt about it. But how that was not a foul, I don't know. Right gets the inbound. He goes up strong. And he's pulled down. As that's Ortega. And Ortega will be called for his second foul. Non-shooting foul. Three team fouls against Tumbar Memorial and five against the Bulldogs. Now they're getting the inbound in right, fighting for it, get, try to make the pass, and that ball saved by Charlie Hill. And it's going to be a foul called against Tyler Moore. Moore picks up his fourth foul. Still a non-shooting foul. So the Bulldogs will inbound again with 154 remaining in this third period. The Bulldogs trail by the score of 27-26. Then a scrappy thought contest. That's pleading this case to one of the officials now is Mr. Jeff Beckham. He has a total of six points tonight. Not a lot of scoring. Some athleticism being showed. Not a lot of scoring tonight. Teams slowing it down. In particular, Tumball Memorial is now coming in. will be Amir Hyder. Hyder comes in. He only has one foul. They're going to get more breather. He has four. Inbound. They got to get it in. And that ball is almost stolen, tipped out of bounds by very athletic Jeff Beckham. Knocks that out of bounds off the inbound, so Wagner will get it at midcourt. Gets it back across to Sean Robinson. He goes across, dribbling behind his back, gets it to Charlie Hill. They're applying pressure now. Whoa, are the must or the Wildcats 
And that ball is finally knocked out of bounds. It's going to be possession that remains for the Bulldogs. Leading his case and saying, you got to be kidding, was Matt Avala. Inbound now to Wagner. Wagner driven to the right side. And there's going to be a blocking foul called against Brooks Perkins. And they have really changed the dynamics of how these guys play right now. There used to be a time where that would be considered good defense, but it's hand-checking and body contact, and it is quickly six fouls for Tomball Memorial. Inbounded to Wagner. Wagner gets it to right. Right lost the handle, and there's another turnover. That's turnover number 14 now against the Bulldogs, shooting from the left elbow, and it's no good was Beckham, and the rebound scrambling on the ground, and a little hustle and tussle between Eric Wright and Matt Avala, both standing the ground. Possession arrow, they call it jump ball, possession arrow pointed in favor of the Bulldogs, so they're telling Mr. Wright, calm down, big guy, they need you for the duration of this contest. Bulldogs still trailing 27-26. Coming in now, Tombaugh Memorial trying to apply all kinds of pressure. That's going to be a travel against Vines. Vines had to took the step, so now Gerard Smith will come in and give a breather to Eric Wright. Wright has a total of five points and three fouls. 26-27 is still the score. As coming across the timeline now or Tom Ball Memorial. There's a good deflection, a turnover. Wagner leaps up, breaks up the pass, a bounce pass to Smith. Smith's shot, no good. Rebound is going up and saved by Hayden Stevens. And here comes Tom Ball Memorial. Tom Ball Memorial, Stevens gets it, kicks it over to the side. Now back over to Beckham. Beckham goes from the right elbow. That shot is good, and it finds its way down. The hole. 29 26, 30 seconds remaining before the third period is officially over. Bulldogs look like they're setting up for the final shot. As they're coming, Charlie Hill takes a baseline. Oh, that's too strong off the glass. And here comes some of there. There's, there's all kind of. Kickball and everything else not called. The shot, the buzzer, and it's good from downtown. The three-pointer to end the third quarter, 30, 32 to 26. Tumball Memorial hits a three from deep in the corner. Time out on the floor. We're going to take us a break, and we'll be back for this fourth period of basketball action. With over 20 years of experience as a lawyer, attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. can help you with whatever your need may be. Divorce, car accidents, criminal case, wills, deeds, trust, civil suits, parent and child relationships. Contact Richardson's Law Office located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You can call them at 979-826-8008. Attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. in Hempstead, Texas. Hello, this is Dr. Michael Prince, the owner and the founder of the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the Gospel Channel. Just want to welcome you and your loved ones to join us each and every day right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, 87.9 FM, for quality gospel programming, teachings, Bible studies, and much, much more. Spread the word, KTORradio.com. Be blessed and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, we're ready to start this fourth period of play. The Bulldogs were outscored 11-5 to in that third period. They're trailing by six, 32 to 32-26. Inbounding now will be Jeff Beckham as he gets it over to Andrew Wexler, and the fourth period is on the way. Tumball Memorial going from my left to right. Navy blue uniforms trimmed in gray numbering. Bulldogs, and they're all white with the maroon trimming and letterings on their uniforms. Getting things going up, going Beckham goes to the left side, shoots off the glass, and Beckham is beginning to warm up. He has six points in this second half. 34 
to 26. Eight-point lead now for Tumball Memorial. Vines gets it back to Robinson. Robinson takes it from the top of the key, being guarded. Swings it back across and tries to shove that ball down low, and that's another turnover. And here comes Tumball Memorial and Hayden Stevens with the basket. Hayden Stevens gets his first points for the night, and it's a 10-point lead for Tumball Memorial. I mean, now Vines going to the left side, looking for some help. Gets it from Robinson. Robinson dribbling. Gets it back to Vines on the left wing. Vines goes off the glass. Beautiful shot. And it falls down. 36-28. Tom Ball Memorial on top. Six minutes and 40 seconds remain in the contest as the Bulldogs and the Wildcats do battle. Now have... Hayden Stevens coming in. He gets it to D.J. Thomas. He missed the shot, the rebound. Saved by Robinson. He almost lost the handle. Gets it back to Vines. Vines got to get it across the floor to 10 seconds. And the long bounce pass is going to be another turnover. Vines tried to hit Gerard Smith. And got the unforced turnover and give it back in possession of Tumball Memorial. 36 to 28 is our score. Six minutes and 17 seconds remaining. In the contest, this is the first game of district play. Tom Ball Memorial, Tom Ball, Magnolia West, the Mustangs have been calling all night. Magnolia, of course, you have Brenham, you have Stratford, and Springwoods, and Walla rounds it all up. There's a good ball move. That ball is missed. Shot was missed by DJ Thomas, pushing it up the floor now. William Wagner gets it, goes into the land of the Giants, played by Wright. Right shot too strong, and is rebounded by Beckham. Beckham pushing it back across the floor. Beckham cuts across toward the middle, swings it out of the corner. A long three-hole and puts it back out and bouncing it down low. Looking, working, gets it back to D.J. Thomas, and they score it down. Five minutes and 43 seconds remaining. Gordon Australian, 38 to 20, 36 to 28. Now Beckham bounce pass, gets at the Wexler. Wexler shot off the glass, and it's good. Wexler's first field goal in the second half, 38-28. Ten-point lead for Tumball Memorial. Gets it over into the corner, going baseline. That shot was no good by Taylor. And there's going to be a foul. And it looks like they're calling that against 30, Mike Cugini. Going to shoot two will be Eric Wright. Wright is two for three from the line tonight. They need them all now as that first shot is good. 38 to 29. Bulldogs to trailer. William Wagner, Sean Robinson, Eric Wright at the line, Charlie Hill alone with Tyron Taylor on the floor. That shot is missed. Tyron Taylor with the rebound. A three-pointer by Wright is good. Wright shooting it from beyond the arc. 38 to 32. Five minutes remain in the contest. Bulldogs are trailing the Wildcats. Working shot. Robinson got away with a foul then. Tried to steal it. Ball to pass to Kajini. Working it now is D.J. Thomas. He gets it back over to Kajini at the free throw line. Goes, look, that ball almost ripped by Wagner, and the ball is saved from being out of bounds by Wexler. Wexler gets it back to D.J. Thomas. Setting a high pick now was Kajini. Tyron Taylor guarding D.J. Thomas. Now gets it over into the reliable athletic Jeff Beckham. Beckham goes, bounce pass, down low to Kajini. And Kajini gets the easy backboard shot, 40 to 32. Four minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the contest. Charlie Hill. Oh, that ball was picked by D.J. Thomas. Thomas goes off the glass. And what a full execution by D.J. Thomas. Charlie Hill tried to lower him to sleep. He timed it, picked it, and got the layup. Now Robinson comes, gets that shot off the rim, is rebounded by Stevens. Stevens takes it, kicks it out to Beckham. Beckham slows it up on the far side. Gets it to, now he decides to keep it himself. 
with three minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Ten-point deficit for the Bulldogs, trailing 42 to 32. Coming, getting going as Beckham. He throws that hard, and they're going to call a foul against Eric Wright. And Wright picks up his fourth foul, and they're going to allow Mr. D.J. Thomas to go to the line. He'll be, I'm sorry, that's not D.J. Thomas. And they're going to get that. So Beckham, how did Beckham end up at the line? He made the first free throw. Substitutions now coming in. Corbin Vines, Eric Wright, Malik Banks, Sean Robertson, and it looks like Mr. William Wagner on the floor. The free throw was good by Beckham. Ready to get the second shot on the way. Second shot is in and out. The rebound is by Wagner. 32-43, to the Bulldogs trail. Wagner getting it across. And there's going to be a foul called against D.J. Thomas. That's only his second foul. So it's going to be a bonus shot for Wagner. Substitution is now coming in as Matt Avala will come in for D.J. Thomas. So the Bulldogs want to get back in this and keep pace. They are going to have to get the free throws in. 324 remaining. Bulldogs are trailing by 11. I'm sorry. Uh, Yes, by 11. First free throw is good. It's now 43 to 33, Wagner could make it single digits if he sinks this shot. Second shot on the way. And it's good. Forty three thirty four. Bulldogs now trying to apply a little pressure to get the long pass off across. And the foul is going to be against Eric Wright, and I believe that's it for Brother Wright. Going to shoot will be Edgar Ortega. I thought that was five on Wright. Wright's kind of looking over at the bench. No one has said anything yet. Maybe I missed one. Ortega's shot is no good. Second shot on the way by Ortega. 43-34 is the score at three minutes and 14 seconds. Come on Memorial with the lead. Second shot is good. And Ortega was one for two on the line. Now pressure being applied now as now Wright gets it, breaks the line. Blocking foul is going to be called against Ortega. Ortega called for the foul, and he's explaining. He said all he did was slide step. So Wright will go again in the bonus. They've got to keep it close now with 307. I had Wright down with five. He had two, and I must have missed something. Ah, that one rolls in and out, and the rebound is by Tumball Memorial. Ten-point lead for Tumball Memorial, exactly three minutes remaining in the contest, 44-34. They're going to call a hand foul against Corbin Vines. He can't believe it. Three minutes, I'm sorry, 257. Going to the line now will be Jeff Beckham. He'll be in the bonus. He gets ready to try to shoot here. Bulldogs are going to have to box out any missed shots. The first shot is nothing but bottom of the net by Mr. Beckham. He'll get a chance to shoot again. 
34-11 point lead for Tumball Memorial with two minutes and 57 seconds remaining. So now Wright will go out and they have a substitution for him coming in and it looks like Gerard Smith Second shot on the way. It's no good. The rebound is picked up by Tumball Memorial Stevens, and they did not need that, did the Bulldogs. Decker now with control, swings it over. The long three-pointer is good by Ortega. The second three of the night, 48 to 34 now, Tumball Memorial on top. Robinson gets it over to Vines. Vines shoots the long three. It's no good. The rebound is off the hand of Tumball Memorial. It will be Bulldogs ball as D.J. Thomas will come back in for Hayden Stevens. 228 remaining. Bulldogs trailing by 14, 48-34. The inbound pass to Banks. Banks looking, being guarded. Gets that ball up to the top to Smith. Smith goes. Right elbow. Tried to pass that one. Turned it over. And here come Tumball Memorial. Going back and forth is Ortega. Gets it back to D.J. Thomas. Thomas no-look pass. And trying to save it. Gets it back. Good job by Avila. Avila making that save. Tomball now with two minutes remaining. There's a left hand off the glass. No good by Beckham. And that ball is knocked out of bounds. It will be possession for the Bulldogs. 155 remaining in the contest. Bulldogs trailing 48 to 34. Banks gets it across the timeline. He gets it over to Charlie Hill. Charlie Hill goes baseline, and he is going to be foul. He'll go to shoot two. Charlie only has two points tonight. Gets to shoot the double bonus. First shot is no good. Second shot on the way by Hill. Is good. That's three points for Charlie Hill on tonight. 13-point lead for Tumball Memorial with 135 remaining. There's a steal by Banks. Banks coming, gets it across, and he's going to be fouled by Mr. Andrew Wexler. And Banks will go to shoot, too. His first attempts of anything tonight, no shots, not even a foul. First shot, ooh, rolls in and out by the lefty. And he'll get a chance to shoot again. Takes his time, lets it roll off, and that one hits the front of the rim. And no baskets or points for Banks. Time out taken as D.J. Thompson gets it across the timeline. And they are going to take a break. We'll take us a quick break and let you know that we are listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The voice of Walla County Athletics will be right back after we hear about the Minister's Workers' Conference. Johnson Phillips All Faith Chapel presents the 57th Annual Minister's Conference February 3rd and 4th, 2015 on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. The theme will be dynamic and relevant preaching in a contemporary world. Scheduled conference speakers from Atlanta, Georgia, Dr. Teresa L. Fry Brown, Executive Director and Scholarship African American Methodist Episcopal Church. From Gilmer, Texas, Dr. Forrest L. Curry Sr., Moses Chapel, Christian Methodist 
Methodist Episcopal Church. From Houston, Texas, Dr. Marcus D. Cosby, Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. And from Haywood, California, Bishop Jerry W. Macklin, Senior Pastor at Glad Tidings Church of God in Christ, the second assistant presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ from Memphis, Tennessee. For more information, dial 936-261-3590. The 57th Annual Minister's Conference, February 3rd and 4th, 2015. And welcome back. One minute and 25 seconds remaining in the contest. I want to remind that we'll be broadcasting that Minister's Conference live through our KTOR station as we get ready to get things back on the way. Your congratulations also to the Navasota Rattlers. They won the state championship today, beating Argyle 42-35 in double overtime. Working the baseline pass, and the shot was no good by D.J. Thomas. Going to be a turnover for Tumball Memorial. Getting it across the timeline now is Robertson. Robertson gets it to Corbin Vines. That shot is no good, but he's fouled. Going to shoot two as they will give that foul to Mr. Jeff Beckham. Hines will go to shoot another two. He's four for four from the line. Make that five for five from the line. 59.52 seconds remaining. Bulldogs trailing 48 to 36. Vines' next shot is good, and he is perfect from the line on tonight. 48-37. Bulldogs now trying to apply some pressure. Oh, and getting it across the alley. Oh, no good. Trying to make that a dazzle dazzle was Wexler and DJ Thomas. And that'll be another turnover. And coming out now will be DJ Thompson, Thomas. Coming in will be Brooks Perkins. 50 seconds remain in the contest. Tom Ball Memorial up 48 37. So Sean Robinson allowing to get a few extra bounces before he picks it up. Swings it over. And that ball is turned over. And here comes something special. And no, just a layup. And missed the layup. Missing a layup was Andrew Wexler. I just knew something razzle dazzle and then turned it over when it tried to get the rebound. Now, Robinson shoots from the right elbow, and it is good. 48 39. Bulldogs applying pressure, swings it over in the corner, and now just slowing it down. And the Bulldogs, they might have to start trying to foul, going up and getting. The basket, but what a fancy move. They're going to count the basket. The foul is going to be assessed against Charlie Hill. But more importantly, Beckham does a photo shot, and he gets a chance to put an accent on it with an attempt for the three-point play the old-fashioned way, and he does make it count. 51-39, Robertson shot off the glass is no good. Picked up, and finally they're scrambling. They're going to let them roll it out because that's game anyway. And the final score now is 51-39. to 39. Tumball Memorial wins the first battle of these two meetings. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with our game time summary. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of Waller County Athletics, and we'll be right back. The station design, 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 the station
With over 20 years of experience as a lawyer, attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. can help you with whatever your need may be. Divorce, car accidents, criminal case, wills, deeds, trust, civil suits, parent and child relationships. Contact Richardson's Law Office located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You can call them at 979-826-8008. Attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. in Hempstead, Texas. Another proud supporter for the Waller Bulldogs is Green Lawn Care Service, providing commercial and residential lawn maintenance for quality, service, and value. Contact Green Lawn Care Service at 979-277-2145. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, call 832-213-8824. Toy Tech Auto Care, located at 19730 FM 2920 in Tumball, Texas. Next door to Dollar General off of Muski Road, Toy Tech offers a variety of services. Preventive maintenance, computerized diagnostics, all the way to clutch repair. Call Toy Tech Auto Care at 281-516-9400. Showing support for Walla County student-athletes and helping educate today's children, the Learning Tree Child Care Center. Located at 837 12th Street, Hempstead, Texas, contact the owner, Carla Perry, at 979-826-4703. Johnson Phillips All Faith Chapel presents the 57th Annual Minister's Conference February 3rd and 4th, 2015 on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. The theme will be dynamic and relevant preaching in a contemporary world. Scheduled conference speakers from Atlanta, Georgia, Dr. Teresa L. Fry Brown, Executive Director and Scholarship African American Methodist Episcopal Church. From Gilmer, Texas, Dr. Forrest L. Curry Sr., Moses Chapel, Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. From Houston, Texas, Dr. Marcus D. Cosby, Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. And from Haywood, California, Bishop Jerry W. Macklin, Senior Pastor at Glad Tidings Church of God in Christ, the second assistant presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ from Memphis, Tennessee. For more information, dial 936-261-3590. The 57th Annual Minister's Conference, February 3rd and 4th, 2015. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the official voice of Waller County Athletics, serving the Waller Bulldogs, the Hempstead Bobcats, the Royal Falcons, and the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. All right, welcome back. We're in our post-game coverage now. The Bulldogs fall short to the Wildcats of Tumball Memorial by the score of 51-39. to The Bulldogs were 21-31 from the free throw line. They were led by William Wagner. He had 11 points on the night, eight points by Corbin Vines, six points by Eric Wright, five by Sean Robertson, three by Charlie Hill, and one by Gerard Smith. Meanwhile, the Tomball Memorial um, Wildcats, they were led by Jeff Beckham. He had nine points. It was six points by Andrew Wexler, four points by Mike Cugini, five points by... Matt Avala, uh, four or uh, five points by DJ Thomas, and four points by Edgar Ortega. The Tumball Memorial Wildcats were nine of fourteen from the line. As the Bulldogs, they were they were better at the line, but Tumball Memorial did a good job of slowing the ball down and then maximizing their shot opportunities. So, with that being said, the Bulldogs go to zero and one in district play. I got Coach Claiborne right here, but I didn't bring my extra mic, Coach. But from what we were uh, gathering and, co- and covering, the uh, the Bulldogs uh, were were not bad from the free throw line. It was just that the the, the slow pace that Tumball Memorial was trying, what they established on tonight, and maximizing the shots, second chance shots, and uh, the young man by the name of Jeff Beckham, pretty athletic. Uh, uh, showed some showed some hops on the night, but then there's always the second time coming. Uh, Bulldogs uh, will go to an overall record of four and eight on this young season, zero and one in district play. Meanwhile, the Memorial Wildcats go to ten and seven, one and zero in district play. Trying to make sure that we got things set and lined up here. Want to thank everyone for joining us on tonight. This will be our final broadcast before Christmas break 
as we want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. I don't say the niece Navidad and all that. I say Merry Christmas, and we appreciate your support. Remember to listen to our website at ktorradio.com for all gospel channel and for your sports coverage, obnradio.com. My name is Dr. Michael Prince. I want to thank you for joining us on tonight. I'd like to thank our sponsors for joining us on tonight. We had Toy Tech. Automotive, Lee Van Richardson, attorney at law. Also, like to thank Ameris, uh, Ameris uh, Hospital out of Tumball, Texas. Like to thank the the great people of the Temple of Refuge Ministries, the R Family Storage located in Prairie View, the Walla Bulldog Club, the Hempstead Theater, and San Bernard Electric Cooperative. Once again, the, the Walla Bulldogs fall short by the score of. 51 to 39, and our time is up here tonight. We're going to say God bless, Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on the other side. That is going to conclude our broadcast today here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Thank you for joining us and making this broadcast possible. If you would have views, expressions, or comments about today's broadcast, feel free to visit us at KTOR radio.com or you can send us an email at omb network at gmail.com the open mic broadcast network serving the community through faith and athletics